The Algalazer is tiny, uh, small. But that's not the best part about it. Rather, it's that it might be the best laser engraver for beginners on the market. In this video, I will of course introduce the machine, demonstrate the application, and showcase the operating system on the machine. Obviously, I also tested it a little, so you'll be able to see it in action. Stay with me. This video will definitely be special, at least in the sense that there won't be a separate unboxing or separate specifications. I'll dive right into the essentials and along the way, I'll nicely explain what exactly the machine can do. Let's get started and first see what it looks like from the outside. The Algalaser Pixie is a device intended for beginners, which means it's very small, but despite that, it's very capable. Its use is extremely simple. It can be used with a PC, with a phone, and with the operating system on it, which is currently version 2.4 of Algalaser. This was recently released and brought quite a few innovations that make it easier to use and add additional functions to the machine. So first I would like to talk about the exterior because there are a couple of interesting uh, aspects that are definitely worth mentioning. At first glance, the machine itself looks like all similar devices. So it's a small cube with a flip up visor, but it looks like a motorcycle helmet. But the interesting features don't start on the outside, rather on the inside because there is finally a work tray inside where we can place the workpiece. On this work tray, we can engrave the workpiece. And in this case, what's really interesting is that we can also cut it. The manufacturer designed this tray to be secured with four screws. And if we unscrew them, we can flip the tray over. On the bottom, there's a grid where we can place the work material. Uh, this is very beneficial because during cutting, the bottom of the workpiece won't get scorched or burned as much as it would if we were trying to cut on a flat surface. This is definitely a very, very good innovation because not only is there a tray, but they have equipped the machine with a very smart solution for both engraving and, and cutting. By the way, I should note that the machine has a 5 watt head, which makes it suitable for cutting as well. True, you can't cut thick materials with it, but you can cut things like 3 minima plywood, thinner leather, and a year paper and similar materials. That's something at least. Regarding the tray, it's important to note that the maximum size of the material that can be engraved or cut is 10 x 10 centimeters. Uh, obviously, we're talking about a small machine. It's also very important that on one side there is a centimeter marked grid, which is a great help when you want to position the material precisely for the work to be done. That's all about the tray. Santa. Now let's move on to another special feature, which again relates to the exterior and design of the machine. With these machines, we are quite limited in terms of the types of work we can perform on them because the machine is small. This means that we cannot insert a workpiece that is too tall, nor can we insert a rotary attachment or anything else because the machine is small. Now, with the Algorizer, they have overcome this problem with a very clever solution as they have made it possible for the top part of the machine to be simply lifted. You can achieve this lifting by unscrewing four screws at the back, and then you can lift the top part of the machine on a metal frame, a metal slide. Once you screw the four screws back in, you can start placing taller workpieces into the machine, and you can even insert the Algorizer's rotary attachment, which is specifically recommended for this machine. It's a very flat solution, and you can place glass cups and all sorts of items on it and engrave them with the machine. This is a truly special solution in such a small entry-level beginner machine. I have never seen anything like this before it, I, and it definitely deserves a huge gold star. For this, the manufacturer provided a very clever little device that looks like a tiny hammer. We need to place this between the workpiece and the laser head, and this will be the spacer that shows exactly uh, where to position the laser head to achieve perfect focus. Related to the exterior is that I often mention that the biggest problem with these spacers is that the manufacturer does not provide a holder on the machine where we can place this spacer as a result when we don't need to adjust the head this spacer easily gets misplaced and then it becomes really difficult for us when we want to set up the laser at pixie they have solved this as well there is a small where we can hang this spacer so it will never get lost here 
I love these kinds of machines um, because of such small but clever solutions. And that's why I really like Pixie 2. Well, now that we're done with the exterior, can, uh, we can move on to the application. I already showcased the mobile application in an earlier episode. The essence of it is that the phone needs to connect to the same Wi-Fi network that you can connect Pixie to. And if you do, this. The application will automatically search for the device that could connect to the network, link with it, and from then on, you can use the machine through the application as well. The most important thing about this application is that you can essentially gain access to every function that the machine is capable of through it. Either in addition, uh, you can design and create a variety of puzzles on it, draw freehand, so enter various texts, and choose from the pattern collection it contains, where you can engrave all kinds of patterns. It is very important that at the start of the work, you can set the position of the object, specifying exactly where it is on the slide. You can set the size of the object. You can specify what material it is. You can adjust how deep the engraving should be, how dark it should be. So essentially, you will be able to set everything through the mobile application. This is a very good thing. And for beginners, I think it is definitely useful because anyone who is already accustomed to using any mobile application um, will be able to easily master the uh, application associated with Pixie. But I consider the operating system they put on this machine to be even more important than the application. Here on top of the machine, you see a touch sensitive display through which the operating system can be managed. It's very, very important that this operating system, as I mentioned, has just been updated and it's now uh, version 2.4. With this update, features like image inversion, freehand drawing and, and simple text input have been introduced. Inversion is important when engraving on an object that is backlit. In such cases, you need to engrave the inverted image into the material. It's also important when engraving on dark materials. But uh, for example, I engraved a small image onto a black plexiglass sheet and you can clearly see, perhaps you can too, how beneficial it is that inversion is now available on the machine. I don't think text input needs much explanation. Uh, of course, I tried it out and created a beer can uh, uh, that I can give as a birthday gift. For this, I also used the Pixie Rotator, which I'll talk about a bit more later. Perhaps freehand drawing is the least important as we can write and draw on this tiny display. And well, these drawings won't be very pretty. In any case, this won't limit your creativity, so if you want to draw, you can do so. Okay. But the most important thing about this operating system is not this, but rather that it is a well-usable, easy-to-use system, even for someone who is relatively experienced with lasers. This means it is suitable for amateurs as well, since it includes a prepared material table, a sample table where the appropriate values for different materials are set. So, if you want to engrave, you just need to specify that you want to engrave, for example, whether you want it in plywood, plexiglass, leather, or any other material, she may be... And based on the set material table, the machine will adjust for you the laser strength and carriage uh, speed to use, so you don't even have to worry about these. But if you it, it, are an experienced user and feel that the preset values are not suitable, of course, you can adjust these so you can manually set the laser intensity and the car speed. All of this is possible, making the Algo OS version 2.4 a perfect solution for beginners in, in advanced users uh, and experienced users alike. And now let's move on to the cars. Glass Turner, because the, its usage has also been greatly simplified. Regarding this Glass Turner, I must mention that it is a relatively simple piece, as you won't be able to place more complex objects, like a stemmed glass on it, because there is no holder to secure the base of a stemmed glass. You can only place objects that are completely straight, like a bottle, for example. You will be able to engrave things like a soda can or a beer can on it. This is because the glass turner needs to be very flat to fit into the machine. There is only one thing you can adjust on it. You can screw the two rollers into two other positions further in. Mm -hmm. And then you can even insert a thicker marker, roll it, and engrave on it if you wish. By setting it a bit further apart, you can insert glass boxes, beer cans, and of course, larger objects. So the point is that this glass rotary 
works perfectly in this tiny little machine. Let's summarize this entire video. Externally and at first glance, the Algolizer Pixie shows no difference compared to similar machines from other manufacturers. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, but it has hidden capabilities uh, uh, that definitely make it stand out uh, from the crowd. I'm thinking of the slide, this, the adjustable height, the touch-sensitive display, and the very advanced operating system behind it, the mobile application. So things that we don't get with every machine, and even if we do, not in the quality that the Pixie offers. In the Algo Laser Pixie, everything essentially came together to create a perfect machine. I also made three short videos about the machine, which you will find on my YouTube channel, unboxing, exterior related curiosities, and uh, the operating system. If you like the machine, check these out as well. Under this video in the description, you will find the link where you can purchase it. If I receive a coupon code, I will include that as well. And you will also find a link to the written article. If you like this video, please like it, comment, subscribe to the channel, and choose from the two other videos appearing next to me. You'll probably like those too. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll be back soon with another review. Goodbye.